Genesis chapter 31. Genesis chapter 31 unfolds a tale of intrigue and family dynamics. We find Jacob, the shepherd with a knack for dealing with livestock, working for his father-in-law, Laban. However, tensions rise as Laban's sons grow envious of Jacob's prosperity. Jacob overhears Laban's sons complaining about him in verses 1-2, and this stirs something within Jacob. Jacob then looks at his uncle Laban and notices that his countenance towards him is not the same as before. In the midst of this tension, God speaks to Jacob, urging him to return to his homeland. Afterward, Jacob gathers his wives, Leah and Rachel, in verses 3 to 13, and explains to them how he believes God has shown him that it is time to leave. He recounts how God had blessed him with a multiplication of his flocks, despite Laban's attempts to cheat him. Rachel and Leah fully support Jacob's decision, recognizing that their father has not treated them fairly. As Jacob secretly prepares to leave, Rachel steals her father's household idols, perhaps reflecting a desire to hold on to the past or gain a sense of security. Three days later, when Laban discovers Jacob's departure, he pursues him, leading to a confrontation between the two. In a surprising twist, God intervenes, warning Laban in a dream before he could approach Jacob to be cautious with his words to Jacob. The climax of this chapter occurs in verses 36-55 when Laban catches up with Jacob and confronts him about his departure. Laban accuses Jacob of deceitfully leaving without saying goodbye to his daughters and grandchildren, and also saying that he could have destroyed them at the spot if not that Jacob's God spoke to him a night before. Jacob defends himself recounting how Laban had changed his wages ten times, but how God had protected and blessed him through it all. Laban also expresses regret over his missing idols, unaware that it was Rachel who took them. Jacob, unaware of Rachel's actions, allows Laban to search his belongings, unknowingly cursing anyone found with the stolen idols. The tension climaxes with a heated exchange between Laban and Jacob, ultimately resulting in the establishment of a covenant between them, marking a boundary of peace. They construct a witness heap, which is called Galeed, meaning witness pile, and also called Mizpah, which means watchtower, Genesis 31, 48, 49. This pile of stones serves as a reminder of their reconciliation and the faithfulness of God. The chapter concludes with Laban bidding farewell to Jacob and his family. This chapter in Jacob's journey teaches us valuable lessons about trusting in God's guidance and following his direction, even in the face of challenges. It shows us the importance of integrity, standing firm in our convictions, and seeking reconciliation when conflicts arise. The story of Jacob and Laban reminds us that God can bring about reconciliation and peace in the most unlikely of situations.